Hey there folks and uh, welcome to Hogarth's Global Astrology. Know your planets, know yourself. And uh, this is just a little update from me actually, um, which is a really quick one, uh, which is uh, first off, uh, I have finished the first draft of my new book, um, which is called um, Fourth House Issues, Why the UK Struggles with Love until the coronavirus, perhaps, in, uh, in, uh, in brackets. Um, and the second one is that it's my birthday. Woo! So, um, and, you know, the birthday wishes have been coming in, which has been lovely, you know, on Facebook and stuff like that. So thank you to everyone who sent me birthday wishes. <coughs> and, um, and... This is just, uh, it's just a really interesting time for me because I've been spending a while on this book and it is my first astrology book. So early days, it's the first draft and then, um, and then I just need to kind of go over and do some editing, um, which will be actually in time for the Mercury retrograde, which is coming up, I think on the 14th uh, of October. So in a couple of days from now, Mercury is going retrograde, Mercury is to do with communication, messages, publishing, travel, all those sorts of things, uh, information, and it's a time for review. So um, whenever a planet is going backwards, whatever it, that planet symbolizes comes under review. So perfect time for me to actually start uh, editing my book as the nights draw in. Now this book, what is it about? It is a study of the British character. And it looks at the, um, our nation's birth chart. And it looks at the birth chart of the 1st of January, 1801. And that's when the UK actually became the UK. Um, Scotland and uh, England were, and Wales were already united. And then with uh, this uh, act, um, the act of accession in 1801, Northern Ireland joined the UK. Now, obviously, this is a controversial thing, and you know, I won't go into all of the the historical matters. We see how full things come full circle. We've got Brexit. We've got all these different kind of things uh, going on. However, there's something important to know. Whenever a nation is created, or they have a, it has a significant change in status, like either separating or joining. Um, that nation has a new birthday. And I thought it would be quite important to talk about birthdays, given that it's my birthday today, but the UK will have a new birthday because why? On the night of the 31st of December, 2020, and then at the stroke of midnight, CET, Central European time, not UK time, Central European time, because that's, when basically the UK leaves Europe, so it's going to be on their clock, um, our nation will have a new birthday. Um, I discussed the new, I discussed the details uh, at the end of, of my new book, but it's going to be a very interesting time for the UK. We will have, um, I think it was, what's it called, third nation status. And of course, you know, this being uh, my channel being also about global astrology as well as the personal, I just thought it was worth mentioning that. And I've actually made some predictions in the, in my book for what uh, and how the UK character will change. Ooh. So um, if anyone is interested in potentially being a beta reader for my book. So if anyone's unfamiliar with that term, a beta reader is basically someone who basically reads sort of like an early, early draft of, of a book and they give their opinion, their six pence worth, how it can be improved. They look out for mistakes, etc., or even come up and suggest ideas, which I'm very open to. This book is, is very unusual. I don't think it's been done in astrology uh, before. It covers what is called mundane astrology. A mundane astrology basically means the astrology of the land, uh, essentially. And the house symbolisms stay similar, but not exactly the same when we're dealing at the level with countries. And um, 
So it would be wonderful to have some beta readers there, you know, to I'm very interested as well in people's personal stories. Um, this is, you know, relevant to people that are British, but those that know the British well can also give give their give their opinions. And um, it's very interesting because uh, a nation's birth chart really does have have a big effect on the character of its people and in this book I have gone into details uh, not only with uh, the astrological positions but also as well the objective and national and international statistics of phenomena that happen in the UK and what I do is I combine those two so people can understand how astrology affects all of us and I don't think um, a book has been done quite in this way it's something that's quite different I mean mundane astrology is is well known as a term in astrology um, but this is normally when we kind of talk about what may happen or not happen in a nation maybe on a YouTube channel or something like that what's different is that this is this is a book that combines um, Vedic astrology uh, with uh, tradition, uh, with um, tropical astrology, as it's known in the West, and it combines it with facts and statistics. So in this book, I've used when I've used the chart of 1801, January 1st, 1801, I've actually looked at that, the UK chart from the tropical sign placements. Why? Because the chart is so old, it's hundreds of years old. 1801 was a long time ago now. And the stars have moved since. Um, also as well, the UK is a Western country. So um, so with that old Western chart, when, when I actually looked at the old Western chart, that is the one that actually has the closest psychological fit with the UK character. However, when our birthday changes, I have used the Vedic positions for that chart. Um, but I will also look at the tropical positions as well, because you know what? Both will be relevant. Both systems work. They arrive at their conclusion slightly differently, but it's the Vedic chart that gives those real kind of very juicy and succulent insights. Um, so there will be a bit of both. And I, in this book, I look at everything. This is warts and all stuff, you know, from the best to the absolute underbelly sin bin of what the UK um, has experienced and done over history. Because we need, um, we need an accurate appraisal of history. In the UK, we're mature enough to handle this kind of uh, information now as a nation we've been around for a long time but it's very very important um, just for a nation and its people to really have a warts and all approach to history because otherwise we will repeat our mistakes um, but there's also a lot of uh, hope and there's a lot of joy and there's a lot of humour in the book as well because after all the Brits are funny people but you will find out very interesting things like A. Why our politics is the way it is uh, B. Um, the British Empire you know why that was the way it was and why it's still relevant today um, also as well, more entertaining things like why uh, we're so good at producing uh, singer-songwriters in the UK and why we're so good at the arts and theatre. Um, that's all in there and many more different things, including the eighth house of the UK chart, because my goodness, we may have this quite staunch uh, veneer, but there is a lot of passion underneath that British character. <laughs> And the eighth house really shows that there's quite a kinky streak uh, in the uh, in the British personality. And there's so much more as well in there. And it's basically it's not just me proclaiming things, just using the astrology. It is astrology plus statistics. And we're talking about, you know, respected bodies. So in terms of like the UK, you know, the you know Office for National Statistics um you know the department of um 
of um, pe um oh my goodness the department of uh what do we call it twp work and pensions that's it got there in the end department of work and pensions um i also look at newspaper articles and international data and what international bodies have shown as well about about the uk and it's all in this book so it's very juicy even if i do say so myself it's very juicy it's full of interesting little tidbits and funny quirks and all sorts of things especially as well uh, there's even a little bit about James Bond in there and why that is so significant as part of the British personality so I hope that wraps things up gives you guys a real nice taster of what's to come I need to do my first edit but I would love it if some people would like to be beta readers I already have a little list already but if anyone wants to add to that and be part of this project you'll get um, a big discount on one of my uh, any consultation you want I'll give you 50% off how about that and that could be a fate or destiny reading just to give you an idea of what that looks like this is a, uh, a birth chart that I would do for uh, that I've done for my clients this is one of my clients um, she's called Antonia and she's lovely I, I won't reveal any more details than that um, but you can see there's been you know there's been quite a lot of clients uh, over time and essentially the way it works is this is the D1 chart, the main chart at the time of birth. It's like the Polaroid of the sky and then you've got this here which is the D9, the ninth divisional chart and that is the X-ray of the planets in this chart. This is the X-ray and this really kicks in when we get married and also as well when we turn 40. Very much shows what the second half of life will be like. They say this is the tree and the Navamsha, the D9, is the fruit. So if you would like something uh, like that at a discount, then of course feel free to either leave a, a comment below or click on, um, if you look in the description, you can see a link to my website and then you can go to my website and see all the different options there. Uh, but feel free to drop an email and get in touch. Um, I will also uh, add... Um, the code, the discount code, uh, at the end uh, of this video, um, and uh, and yeah, can take it from there. So, so it's a birthday announcement, and it's also a book announcement. Um, I'm so glad I got it done. Can you imagine with COVID, all the pauses and all the hoo ha, and it's going to be a very unusual book because of because of COVID. The structure is going to be something quite different because you can imagine so much happened. I started the book in October of last year and was really kind of like ripping through. Got a long way in, into the book and then come March, you know, we, we've had COVID and it looks like we're going back into more potential lockdowns now. Funnily enough, as Saturn is has turned direct saturn is the planet of lockdown he turned direct at the end of september and is now marching forward and what do we see around the world flu season co uh, coronavirus all that stuff coming back he is the planet planet of winter after all he's vata which means wind and it's to do with diseases and stuff like that like flu and coronavirus and stuff like that. So yes, we're being afflicted again, especially as Mercury goes retrograde. And I've already said already that it is a um, Mercury disease. It depends very much on the state of Mercury. Mercury's going retrograde for the next three weeks. So we'll probably see things get a little bit worse before they get better. And let's just hope that we don't go back to where we were before. Um, it is a different world now that we live in, but again just to say with this book this book is a study of the uk and it is a study of why phenomena happens as it does and i think people find it very very interesting this is a unique book i don't think anyone's done this before uh, and it is juicy and my next book uh, after this when i finish this one is going to be the united states of america that's one worth doing, isn't it? Where I'm going to be looking at their national birth chart, which was 1776 uh, in July, July 4th. Uh, there is some debate about when that paper was signed to kind of formally ratify, but most people go for 6.30 in the evening and that chart fits very well. So the next book after this, I mean, there's still some stages to go. I've got to have edits, beta readers, 
then get it published. But the next book after that is America. And I went there, of course, in 2019. I went around the whole country. Oh, where's, where's the map? Here we are. My goodness, I should have had the map ready for you. If I go like these and lift up like this, this, I hope you can see it all. This is where I went. I went all the way around America. It was my first, my fourth visit. Um, and my granddad, bless him, no longer alive, but he was American. So I went for book research. Not this book, actually, because um, I didn't, wasn't, didn't realise I was going to write um, an astrological book at the time. I was researching for a novel, which I will get back to. So uh, I've written two novels. Um, and I was going there to do the third. And then when I came back, I realised I had to do um, I had to do a book on astrology on the UK. But the next one is about America. Look what's happening right now. Also, as well, if you are interested in my novels, <clears throat> the first one is called Beyond the Gates of Hermes. And the second one is called Beyond the Raging Flames. They're all av they're both available on Amazon and you can click through on links on my website if you're curious about that. But again, going back to consultations, if you'd like a consultation and I also send you your Zoom video as well. And I also make very detailed notes. You can see here, you can see my notes here. I also make very detailed notes of suggestions and recommendations of how uh, to improve your life, but also as well covering what the things that come up during the consultation. So it's a full suite of uh, uh, of packages there. Um, also as well, I've got easy payment options as well for my more expensive consultations, so we say. But if you respond to this, leave a message, send me a direct message or get in touch with my uh, email. And I, like I said, I'll put the code up at the end. You'll get 50% off all of my consultations. So um, that's my little announcement done with. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's just giving you a flavour of what this book is about, because I really do think it's a game changer. It really is. I don't think anyone's really done it before. And it's very accessible, very accessible, very much down to earth, very much about real life. And it's backed up. <clears throat> by national statistics so this is where we see almost a kind of a scientific approach coming together with a more esoteric approach us astrologers know that astrology is a science anyway but that is a disputed thing of course out there in the real world um but i think with this book that could change anyway thank you so much and uh, thanks for tuning in and feel free to uh, pop onto my website, thearchetypalblueprint.com, if you'd like to know more and if you'd like to be a beta reader.